We are here to deliver over 60,000 petitions calling on Anita Alvarez to use her power to right 10 wrongs. In 1992, five black teenagers who would be later known as the Dixmore Five were arrested for rape and murder. Two and a half years later, five teenagers from Cook County, now known as the Inglewood Five, were arrested in, the same, in a different case for the same reason. Eight of the 10 teenagers confessed during police intense coercive interrogations, and six of the now grown men are still behind bars. Back in 1995, uh, I was arrested for this offense for which I did not commit. I signed a confession to something that I did not do. Even though there was absolutely no physical evidence pointing myself or either of my co-defendants to this crime, Primitive DNA testing back in 1996 excluded each and every last one of us. We were all taken to trial and convicted. No one should have to experience what we've experienced. These confessions were the only real evidence connecting these teenagers to the crime. These confessions are false. They were lies. They were coerced from scared, young teenagers who never envisioned that their false admissions would send them to prison for the better part of their lives. The DNA here not only excludes our clients, but it directs law enforcement to the true perpetrators. And in the overwhelming majority of similar situations across the country, when prosecutors have been confronted with this kind of evidence, they've acted swiftly to correct injustice. But that hasn't happened here. Cook County State's Attorney Anita Alvarez has known about the DNA results in each of these cases since early this year, and yet the State's Attorney's Office continues to oppose their release. We're going to take these petitions that we have here and deliver them to uh, the State's Attorney. I expect that you will act on your moral and legal obligation to do what is right and within your authority to correct these injustices. I urge you to immediately agree to overturn the convictions of these now grown men, allowing them to proceed with the rest of their lives.